Hi, this is Zeus the Spark here. Okay, so this is a quick tutorial is pretty exciting for me because I just learned something just a minute ago. And what I just learned, I'm going to share with you guys, and it's called the. Uh, about to tell you in a minute. It's called the TOW, the time block. So this um this bar uh, instruction block works with um real clock time on the actual um. A micro 810 controller so just make sure the clock on your micro end controller actually uh, matches the real time so okay we'll add that in okay so what confused me at first was all this variable stuff on the side okay so basically to add these variables just double click on the lower section of it it will come automatically as toe data okay right uh, time a uh, name is a reserved word. Okay, time A with no space. Time A. Time B. Time C. And time D. Too easy. Okay, so the next part's go up. Okay, so the next part we go to our local variables. Okay, we'll just work with, okay, as you can see, it has the four variables I put for the practicing I was doing, but we're working with the time variables here. Okay, so we got a few variables that come under this variable. And from the comments here, we can see exactly what they do. Okay, so to enable this variable, we write, just write in true over here. True. Okay. So how I spell true? True. Okay. Yeah, we've got two types of timers. Okay, we've got the daily timer where, um, okay, the day of the week so we'll just set when the timer is active, and it, um, the timer will turn, close, open and close whether it's like reached the starting time and end time. If you put it on a weekly timer, it will start on the time you give it and end on the time you give it. So, just for sake of, um, sake of this program, we're gonna put it as a daily timer just so we can see it in real time. Okay, so day of the week, which I'll just put as zero, just so it works for like the start of the week. It goes from zero to six, so zero being Monday, six being Sunday, hour of the day. Okay, so we're at 11 o'clock, so I'll put it as 11. I'll get it to start on 11 free. And day of the week, okay, so this becomes six. And okay, so 11. 11 free make it go for 11 five so two minutes that's sweet okay so all that's active it will download it to our controller let's see whether it works okay we'll go to debuggy mode okay from debuggy mode we'll be able to see the real time of this work so okay press okay it's latched on it's powered on Okay, so you can open up here. Okay, so from this, as soon as the minute hand switch is free, okay, I try to make my controller as close as possible to this by a second, but like it's just off by a few seconds. So it might turn on or off a bit late or a bit early, I don't know. So once it hits three minutes, it should turn on. Okay, and it's turned on. And okay, it's still O2 here, but. On the controller, it's 03. Oh, see, it just turned 03 right now. So that turns on, and after two minutes, it should turn on. off. So we'll wait two minutes and see if this turns off. And yes, as you can see, it's turned off. And okay, it's just a few seconds before 05. Just wait a few seconds. Yeah, there you go, 05. Okay, so that's how the TOW, the uh, ti TOW timer works, instruction block. It works off real time, you set in the timing time of value values and then you'll turn on and off within those time periods. Um, it's a it has many um real time applications. Uh, many machines need to work within only certain times of the day. Okay, this is um Zeus the Sparky. Please subscribe and like this video if you like it and uh place in comments below if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.